welcome back to Zendry's yard style cooking okay so what I'll be doing today I'll be cooking some delicious red pea soup and I'll be using beef for that okay that's my meat that I'll be using for my soup all right as it regards to red pea soup remember you don't have to have meat but if you choose to have meat you can use whichever meat of your choice whether it is chicken beef whatever you want to use it's okay all right so here i have one and a half pound of beef i've already went ahead and washed this with vinegar and lime clean it up and it's ready to be cooked all right so also i've been soaking one and a half cup of red kidney peas and this has been soaking from overnight so this will make the peas a little bit more easier to prepare all right so for my ground provision now i'll be using green banana well the green banana is optional you don't have to add it to it but i choose to use it today all right so i'll also be using some yellow yam cocoa as well as sweet potato and irish potato as well i have some chocha here you know scotch bonnet pepper a scallion as well as thyme and also i'll be using carrot all right so you know that there is no soup red pea soup without your coconut milk so i have some coconut milk here i'll be using some all-purpose pimento seed and i'll be using two grace cock soup mix all right then i will also be doing some cornmeal dumpling all right so once i start on my meat and peas then i'll come back and i'll knead my flour put it aside allow that to rest until i'm ready to use it okay so now i'm going to go ahead and get starting on my meat first thing first to start i will be adding about a teaspoon of salt that's for now then i don't know how everybody else does their soup but i normally cook my peas and my meat together it all depends on the type of meat you're using anyway all right, so because the beef, you know that the beef is a little bit tough as well as the peas. I choose to cook both of them together. I'm going to add, this is what, five cloves of garlic. I've crushed it a little. I'll also be adding some pimento seed to that. All right, I'm going to let this cook now for two to two and a half hours. And then I'll come back and I'll show you oh we are progressing right all right as i always stated that you don't have to slow cook or cook slow cook or fast cook whichever way you choose you can just go ahead use your pressure cooker 20 minutes 30 minutes and you're good to go all right so this is how we are looking now so i'm going to go ahead let this cook then i'll come back and i'll show you how we are doing while that is going um going to get started on some of my ground provision as well as my flour and put it aside all right so welcome back guys so this is how our soup is looking my peas is cooked as well as the beef nice to cook let me just show you soft and tender and the same thing for the peas all right so what i'm going to do now i'm going to add the yam as well as the cocoa and my dumpling some people do it different but i add my yam first to me the yam is much tough tougher than the dough so i'm going to go ahead add it add the dumplings then five minutes into those cooking i'm going to be adding my irish sweet potato and my carrot as well okay all right so here is the yam and the coconut i'm not sure what is happening to the yam i've added a little bit of lime juice but it's still changing color but not to worry once it's in the soup that's going to be okay all right so i'm going to add these now so i've added the yams and the coke as well to it i'm thinking about changing this one i'm not sure if it can hold everything but let's see all right so i'm going in now with my dough and i'm no dumpling expert as i always mention so not to worry so adding these adding these to it then trust me the soup is already smelling so delicious and nothing is added to it as well like seasoning or the noodle or anything but it's smelling so good okay so I'm not going to do a lot and 
as well, I'm going to add some spinach or whatever you call it. Those little streamy things that I will be adding. Some to my soup as well. And so, I'm going to finish this up and then I'll come back and show you once I bring the pot to a boil, okay? So now I've added my dough. Yum, everything is in. So I'm going to let this cook. As you can see, look at the difference. You see, the yam is not looking as though it was looking earlier. All right. I'm most definitely going to change this pot because this cannot hold everything. All right. So let this boil. Then I'll be adding the soft of vegetables. Okay. So guys, five minutes has passed. So I'm going to now with my sweet potato irish some carrot chocho and i've used one of the banana i'm not going to use both all right so i'm adding these to the pot as well i will be adding oh that's a lot of food just look at my soup so i will be going in as well with my thyme a scallion and one of the scotch bonnet pepper okay so also as i said everybody does their soup differently all right so i'm going in with one of my soup my cock soup mix and for this one i'm going to use the noodles since i'm using two for the second pack i'm not going to use the noodles okay so i'm just going to allow this to cook with the food remember this is not the final part of the soup i'm also going to season my soup I will be adding some butter as well as a coconut milk. So when I come back, after this is boiled, I'm going to add my coconut milk, the other pack of co um, cock soup, sorry. I will be adding some butter. At that time, I will be adding a little bit, bit of all-purpose seasoning. I'm going to taste my soup to see if it needs any salt. And then I'm just going to allow that to boil and then I'm going to finish up on my soup okay so this is how it is looking now so i'm going to allow these to cook and then i'll come back and do the final seasoning up all right so, so now this is how the soup is looking and look at it it looks like it's almost finished so now what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and add the coconut milk so i'm adding that to it Ooh. All of that goodness then I'm going to add a little all-purpose seasoning and this is optional you don't have to add this part to it as well I'm going in with my noodle as I stated I will not be using the noodles just the seasoning because too much noodle in your soup tends to let the soup slimy and that's not what I'm looking for today not today okay so I'm also going in with my butter as I stated earlier, so that's about one teaspoon, no, one tablespoon butter, sorry. And I will be adding the last scotch bonnet pepper, okay? I've removed the first one. I'm going to go ahead now and bring this to a boil. And that's it. So once you see me again, the soup will be finished, okay? So I'm going to allow the coconut milk and the noodle or the seasoning to boil. And then that's it. And just look at this. And remember... This is no cream of red pea soup. This is a hearty soup. So it's a hearty red pea soup. So you're going to find everything in there, okay? So I don't want anybody to say, oh, too much food or anything. No, that's not what I'm doing today, okay? All right, so once this is finished, then I'll come back and I'll show you the finishing dish, okay? If only you guys could smell the soup trust me it smells divine all right so let's finish this up and then that's it now my soup is finished just look at that everything peas beef yam everything is in there okay just look at that it smells so delicious trust me what better way to finish your saturday than with a big bowl of delicious red peas soup all right so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go ahead and play this up and show it to you guys okay so there you have it my delicious red pea soup with beef or beef soup red pea soup 
whatever you want to call it that's what i've prepared for you today okay and as i stated earlier that you don't have to use beef you can go ahead you can use chicken foot you can use pig's tail you can use your chicken whatever meat you have you can go ahead and use it as well as you don't have to use any meat whatsoever you can just go ahead and do your red pea soup and that's it and it tastes delicious just the same all right two things before i go as i stated earlier that i use the sweet potato as well as the irish potato i use both potatoes just to help thicken in the soup those are optional you don't have to use it as well i've used the green banana you don't have to use those as well i just choose to use it today and then earlier i stated that when i peel the yam i'm not sure what happened but you know that once you peel yam and it's exposed to here it tends to be discolored all right what you can do once you peel your yam just submerge it in some water and you can go ahead and also add some lime juice to it which i did but i'm not sure what happened mine wasn't just working in my favor today or maybe as my brother-in-law always said i don't know how <laughs> to buy yam so maybe that's what was happening today all right so once again it's a pleasure preparing this dish for you i hope you did enjoy it and what i would like you to do is just to go ahead like share subscribe and guys please i'm asking you invite your friends your neighbor anybody you know would have some form of interest in cooking or cooking jamaican invite them to come on over to my channel and subscribe i have some great content ahead for my channel so as i stated once again it's my pleasure doing this video and i'm asking you all please to take care of yourself remember to practice your social distancing wash your hands i can't emphasize on that more wash your hands wash your hands my hands i'm washing my hands like crazy there's no substance even in my hand but if that's what's going to prevent me from getting any form of bacteria germs pass it on to my family that's what i'm going to do continue to wash your hands okay and once again take care of yourself until i come your way with something delicious from my kitchen to yours have a good day